Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to search Microsoft Excel in order to try and find a function or a formula for something you'd like to do. Um, now if you'd like to get this worksheet or workbook that you're about to see, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. And uh, anyway, let's go ahead and begin. So one way to look for formulas in Excel 2007 is to go quite simply to the formulas tab right here and it's going to give you in the function library box a bunch of categories right so you can breeze through these and see what you might need so let's say we're looking for something for bonds right so you might go to the financial little book right here and we want bond prices so we'd like to calculate obviously the, the price of a bond but you're not really sure which one of these is going to do it and you don't want to hover over here all day right to wait for the little note so the very easy way to search for a function if this doesn't do it for you right maybe you could find something like logical there's not many choices right here so maybe you could find it quickly here but if that's not working I really just suggest going to the insert function right here so click that and you can see right here it says search for a function tells you what you can do, type a brief description of what you want to do, then click go. So let's see, um, bond pricing, go. Great, so it gives us a bunch of stuff right here. So if you uh, highlight one of these down here, it's going to tell you exactly what it does. So price disc returns the price per $100 face value of discounted security. Price so you can very quickly see what each thing does. Duration, okay. That's obvious, right? It's going to calculate the duration of a bond. So you can get all of these things that might or might not work. Now say you were actually looking for duration. So at first you would type in bond duration. And duration will be the first one that would come up. And then you could see the variation. You could see the Macaulay modified duration. So this is really the best way to search for a function in Excel that you're trying to um, use, but that you don't know if it actually exists. So let's go ahead and do the Macaulay duration. Now I don't have any raw data here, but if you find one uh, function you think might work, select that and then click OK. Now this is going to essentially walk you through anything that you need to do to complete the function and get a result. So when you highlight the settlement box, it tells you down here, settlement is a security settlement date expressed as a serial date number. You have maturity, tells you what the maturity is right here, coupon, yield, and frequency. And as you start to enter values in here, you're going to notice that this changes down here and you get the formula result over here. So this is very helpful for walking you through new formulas that you don't currently know how to use. And you can scroll down to see the last one, basis. So that's the way that you can search for functions. And um, another way you can get there, no matter what tab you're on, is to go to the left of the formula bar and click the little insert function guy right there. Then you get straight back to here. And you can search for any type of function you need, just like I showed you. So that is an easy um, way to search for things to do in Excel that you don't know if it can do, right? You don't know if it can calculate duration. You don't know if it can properly do the present value or, you know, time value. So search for it and see if it'll work. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tip.